my progress so far is that I can only pull in a, a hundred pounds a day in my car because it is a small car but I'm thinking in about 20 days I should have enough to start the project I hope I have enough to start the project in 20 days <laughs> Hmm. I'm guessing that thing's going to go down any time now, so I'm going to kind of leave that area clear for when it happens. <sighs> yeah, that one's going to go down soon, too. <sighs> I really do miss having the this area having, you know, it all blocked and cased in. It was nice having this private area here. It's not so private now. Yeah, I do miss my fence. <laughs> I do, you know, I miss the uh, exotic tiki thing that I had going. It, it was pretty. And, uh, well, now, yeah, I'm going to do bricks, I guess, or something. <laughs> something that's going to be a little, I hope more difficult for her to destroy and uh, I can't really afford to pay somebody to build me a brick wall so I'm gonna have to do it you know and just a little each day haul some in from Lowe's <laughs> yeah Nissan Sentra it only holds like 100 pounds I don't want to break you know the back rear axle of the car <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't want to have that happen. So, yeah, bringing in probably uh, 50, 60 pounds, maybe 100 pounds of the concrete stuff each day that I can do it. And then uh, after that, after I get them all here, then I'll start doing the slab, <laughs> you know, kind of like frosting a cake, plop, plop, plop. <laughs> Yeah, but my goal hopefully is to block that view that's next to me. Okay, the lighting's coming on. You know, I had the lighting up, actually, for the, the fence that I had. <laughs> there, there it is, laying on the ground there in her yard, you know, next to her fence. That's my fence, that's her fence. But yeah, getting all the bricks going. And uh, right now, the lighting, yeah, it shines on her house. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it sounds like in my mind when when I look over there. Because <laughs> it's definitely, there are a few clowns short of a circus, no doubt. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to take me a while to do this. Because it took me, you know, a long time just to, like two months to rebuild the fence the last time she destroyed it. So this time, clearly, I need to use materials that are a little more difficult for her to, I guess, destroy. <laughs> so brick, concrete, whatever. Yes, yeah, cement. I'm going to go with whatever I can. It just it looks like Tetris out there right now. But, yeah, it's going to take me a while because my Nissan Sentra, it only holds so many pounds of brick in the in the trunk of the car. I, you know, I don't want to break the rear axle <laughs> in the process of transporting, and I can't afford, I, I, I tried I, to have a professional build me the, the brick wall that I need. You know, I do, I want a, a block wall, brick wall, something that, you know, is not going to be easy for her to destroy. And I'm not picking up any of the fence. I removed all my wood. So, you know, I'm keeping it all on this side, you know, strictly on this property. So if she tries to remove any of that before I slap it all together, <laughs> I guess I'll have it on camera. But yeah, I, I did like the fence I had. I did, you know, but I like the other two that I had also. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not going to give her a new fence. I'm just, like I said, going to leave that there, but I'm going to build me some type of a barricade here. I still haven't figured out exactly what type of barricade, but it's going to be brick for sure. So, it's going to take me at least 20 days just to keep hauling in all the brick before I can even begin to start sticking it together. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of work, but I'm hoping it, it'll be worth it. Yeah. The lighting, when I put it up, it wasn't shining on her house. It was shining on my fence. But, hey, I guess it kind of camouflages her uh, trash. <laughs> but, yeah, look. <laughs> I hope she likes the lights. And what kills me, of course, is, you know, she hates my lighting. I know this because she keeps, you know, having other people try to destroy my lighting. And they do destroy my lighting. And that fence I had up there, not only did it, you know, keep me from seeing her trash and having to interact with her on any level, because, you know, it did, it blocked the entire view there. It also kept my lighting right there. <laughs> now it's going against her house. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to, just not be upset about this. I am upset, though, I really am, because this is, yeah, the third time now I'm having to rebuild a fence because my neighbor is fucking loony. <sighs> yeah. Be thankful she's not your neighbor. She's expensive to live next door to. Let me tell you that right now. Oh, <laughs> so I just happened to notice that uh, my neighbor was... I guess it was somebody taking a bunch of pictures of the fence. So, you know, I seized the opportunity and, and asked if that person was with the insurance company. And all of a sudden, you would have thought I <laughs> did something really horrible. <laughs> My neighbor <clears throat> starts yelling and screaming, I'm taking your ass back to court. Get the fuck off my property. I'm like, I'm not on your property. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm sure the, the, the claims adjuster, who seemed to be very nice, you know, she's like, definitely take a note of the interaction that took place. But, uh, yeah, I caught my neighbor red-handed lying to the claims adjuster, stating that she was asleep in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden she heard a kaboom, and her and her new tenant, both woke up wondering what the hell happened. <laughs> First of all, she was nowhere around. She was out of town when that fence went down. And, you know, she knows exactly what happened because she'd been digging underneath it for, the, I don't know, how many weeks previous to the fence falling down. And the new tenant hadn't moved in yet. No. <laughs> but, uh, you know, clearly my neighbor does not tell the truth to save her soul. I hope she gets a new fence. That would be great. That really would. Because, you know, she keeps tearing down mine, and every time she tears down mine, I'm forced to, you know, look at her trash and have to interact with her whenever she's in the mood, I guess, to come start some type of a fight with me or something. I don't know. I just know that uh, I don't know why she keeps tearing down my fence when clearly... <laughs> she doesn't want to see me, and I don't want to see her trash. Yeah, there's the claims adjuster there. You know, and because I do have cameras everywhere, I, I noted that she was taking a bunch of pictures. Yeah, apparently I interrupted whatever she was trying to sell the insurance company. <laughs> All right, 
that's uh, that's the cement that goes around the gate pole. And that's the encroachment right there. As you can see, yeah, look at that. Okay, this is from this end of the gate. My bricks that I got going there. That's the three feet of cinder block wall that she crawled up on to dig underneath all this. As you can see, yeah. That's three feet of cinder block right there. She crawled up on that and dug out from underneath all here. This is all the property that's on this side. She even went through chicken wire to do it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. See, three feet. Look at look underneath there. Yeah, there you go. See, and there's all through that side. Yeah, the rain's coming, so. I'm guessing this all being all down like that. Like I said, this is our area. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that's going down tonight. Yeah, exactly. Mm-mm-mm. Chicken wire is holding that up so far, but the other part of her gate's coming this way. So, when the insurance sees this, I'm guessing <laughs> they'll see what actually happened. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, yeah, we're getting ready to have some rain come in, a lot of it. So, I anticipate perhaps that part of the fence that is still standing her fence that it might go down because there is a good 7 10 inch angle drop already and it's leaning already so yeah it'll probably go over I don't know I just know that you know if she does I mean I want her to, to get the fence fixed clearly <laughs> I do I, I it would benefit me because then I wouldn't have to see her anymore. I wouldn't have to see her trash anymore. And, you know, um, she could quit <laughs> trying to involve the homeowner here and paying for half her fence, especially when it's part of my fence that she destroyed. I mean, she's destroyed, I'm pretty confident, all three fences that I built just so that she could get a new fence. And, you know, I mean, she asked for a new fence before she destroyed my first fence. When I said, no, I'm not going to give you a new fence. I'm just going to build one next to your fence, you know, on this side. <laughs> and that way you can replace your fence whenever you want. But anyway, okay. Fast forward. Yeah, I have a lien on her house. She destroyed my fence again. And now, I guess, you know, she's got the insurance people finally looking at her fence, and maybe they're going to give her some money, and that would be great, even if, you know, it's insurance fraud, because clearly, I, I heard her. <laughs> you know, she didn't know I was standing there, I guess.